No way. No, 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 no. <gasps> we need to talk about this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock video. Yay! They actually did it. <laughs> Don't worry, this is not just a cave update video, okay? This is a normal video. I am going to be looking at my old redstone builds and probably laughing at them quite a lot. <laughs> but I just want to spend a few minutes now just looking at the new cave update and just giving my thoughts because it looks so good. Unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave, pun intended, then you would have probably heard about the new cave update. So what exactly is going to be added? Okay, so first of all, we actually have the caves themselves being updated. I genuinely think the cave needed to be updated. They were so boring and these new ones just look fantastic. Then we had crystals telescopes bundles now that's an interesting one for me this one isn't quite the same as just getting a bigger inventory i'd like to see how it's going to work in practice i know how it works but will players actually use it a lot i'm not sure the new skulk sensor so wireless redstone that looks mega i don't think it's going to be as game changing as some people think it's going to be wireless redstone is going to be a thing but maybe it will only work within a certain radius, maybe a very small radius, maybe the block has to be really close, or maybe it has to be actually visible, I don't know. But yeah, wireless redstone. That's gonna be cool, no matter what it is. <laughs> and then we had that thing. Oh man, that thing is scary. <laughs> then we had things like the mountain goat, which didn't need to be added, but I'm so happy it is because it just looks cool and how it rams. <laughs> how it ran the cow off a cliff was just was just brilliant. Then we had copper, which looks insane. And it oxidizes as well and makes it go green, which looks brilliant. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what that's going to be used for, but it does look good. Then we had brushes. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. It might be really good. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it makes you feel like Indiana Jones. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, and then we had this little guy. Just look at his little face. And then obviously we had the mob vote. And of course, we now have the ISO... The Isology didn't win. Glow squid. Glow squid. A squid that glows. Wow. <laughs> See, even the cow disagrees. Look at him from up high. He's judging me, isn't he? Anyway, just to wrap up my thoughts on this bit, do I like the new update? Oh yeah. Again, I'm not sure how some of it's going to be implemented into people's everyday playing, but I'm looking forward to playing with all of it and it looks brilliant. So um, yeah, thank you, Mojang. <laughs> Hello, donkey. I'm gonna call you Steve. Hello, Steve. Look at the wandering trader over there. <laughs> what are they doing? This is why nobody likes them because look at these trades. Huh? Just, that's just rubbish. What is he doing? You can't breathe in there, you stupid man. <laughs> Come out of there. Don't go that way. Oh, what are you trying to do? Move. Don't, don't do it again. No wonder you die a lot, you silly things. Anyway, enough of the new update. What exactly are we doing today? With everyone looking forward to the new update, I thought I would look back and look at my first redstone testing world. So we're going to have to go back quite a long time. No, 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 not that far back. How embarrassing. Now, for those of you who think this redstone is going to be really good because it's my testing world, no, it's going to be awful, okay? Because it's my first testing world. This is before the bow time, man. This is before I had a YouTube channel, otherwise known as the Dark Ages. <laughs> this is literally me starting my own redstone builds, okay? And they are tragic. <laughs> so this is not for you to learn anything, really. It's more... Just a bit of fun. So uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Okay, first of all, this redstone testing rod is way smaller than I remember it. <laughs> Genuinely, when I was first in this redstone testing rod, I thought it was huge. But now compared to the one I have now, this is tiny. <laughs> this is so small. And by the way, if the redstone is a little bit laggy, it's because this world is actually on my iPad. So yeah, let's just have a look around. What do we have here? Okay, this is a... Wow. <laughs> So that's open and closing. And if you want to lock the door, you do that. Why did I need to make this to know that? <laughs> what are we here? Oh, I tell you what this is. Is it? Yeah, I think this is the start 
of a bottom of a three by three piston door. Oh wait, that's not even connected. Hold on. What? <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> Talking about three by three piston doors, though. This was one of my first, but I think this one still works. I think I showed it in the Q and A video. Yeah, look at that. It's actually all right. It works well. But look at this redstone. So these things here, they're um, basically monostable circuits, aren't they? But what I, what I didn't understand was how to make a monostable circuit with a longer pulse. That's why I did these. The funny thing is, though, if you said to me, explain how this redstone works, pfft, no idea. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? So that obviously turns that on. That turns that off. What's this? I think if I remember, this was a type of sissy door, but it wasn't quite complete. Yeah, you see? It's just not good enough. <laughs> we flick the lever here. As you see, a bar goes across our door. Flick the lever again. And the bar gets retracted away. It works though, so that's quite impressive. Okay, this is actually something I can take away from this build, which is good. Which I can actually say to a lot of you. If you don't understand a build, Try and build it, but don't worry about the size. Just make it nice and large so you can understand it and then try and compact it. Because here, this is no way me compacting. Well, I hope not, because this is this is just horrendous. I obviously was just trying to build it to make to just to try and make it to see if I could. Um, like all this, this is a piston extender here. Like this is horrendous, but it works. So try something like this, you know, build a three by three or a sissy bar door or, or whatever. And build it really large and then once you have built it and understand it then try and make it smaller and oh yeah don't make monostable circuits like this <laughs> oh i was so sweet look at me back then having to put down a t flip-flop because i didn't know how to make it oh <laughs> okay here we have vault doors now this is as fast as i remember oh it's not eh that's not very fast it's fairly compact no it's not really is it it's quite large <laughs> It's not bad though. It's not bad. Could it be smaller? Oh yeah. Could it be faster? Oh yeah. <laughs> but it works. So that's cool. And is this, what's this? Oh, is this a double sided? Yes, it's a double sided one. That's neat. Wait, is that the same design? Just mirrored? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 That actually makes me slightly annoyed now. <laughs> Just seeing all this rest like this. Oh no. I don't think this works anymore. What is this? A six by six? Yeah, six by six volt door, is it? Oh, it's so slow as well. <laughs> now, if you're looking at these builds and saying, oh, I can't even do that yet. And he's saying this is bad. Oh, it does work. Oh, that's interesting. Um, don't, please don't, because you will get better. Like, I, I don't build six by sixes like this anymore because you do get better. It does take time. Yeah, you will, but you will improve, honestly. I'm just saying from, from my standard now, this is disgusting. <laughs> like, what is this system up here? Wow. I actually remember building this. I actually remember this. I'm using a really bizarre um, falling edge to my stable, I think. It's, it's strange. It is strange. It's, it's so out of sync as well. I hate it. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's a horrible block to use. Oh no. Oh, that's no. No. No, 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 no. If I remember rightly, this was a trap. It looks like one. So, what happens when I press this button? Oh, nice. Okay. Why does it do it in two stages? I wonder why I did that. I wonder why I did that. That's a really strange decision. Maybe for the person to realise they've been trapped, you know. Maybe put a sign in there saying LOL, gotcha, or something like that. Yeah. Not very good, is it? <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you want a tutorial for any of these, obviously I would change the redstone to be miles better. But if you want a tutorial for any of these designs, let me know. But of course, like I said, I would of course have to change the redstone. Here's something interesting. When you start redstone, when you start with redstone, with delays and everything, you always use a lot of repeaters. When sometimes that's not the best thing to do, you can use 
maybe a pulse extender. You could use a hopper and dropper system. There are so many better uses for, sorry, there's so many better ways of doing it than lots of repeaters like this. Very inefficient. What the heck? <laughs> what is, okay, this, does this even work? No, wait, whoa. It's two two by two trapdoors back to back mirrored. The one at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, my decisions were strange back then. <laughs> Why would you want a two two trapdoor? I think my thinking actually was to have a trapdoor you fall down, but then you can't see the redstone as you fall into it. Yeah, maybe something like that. That's just strange. <laughs> oh, here's one. Does this one actually work? Yes, so you go down. And then it closes and you should have a roof. All right, yeah, okay, I can kind of get it. It's a bit ugly and the rest of it is horrendous, but yeah, I can see the idea anyway. Oh, <laughs> is this my first portcullis? I remember building this. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a hidden player launcher. It is, but does it work? Oh, that's neat. I mean, you have to have grass in here. You have to have blocks here, so it's not quite hidden. It's not fully hidden, but yeah, it works. That's cool. How high? How high is it? Um, the one I built the other day and uploaded is three and a half. So how's how high is this? No way. It doesn't can't go up five blocks, can it? Oh, it does. <laughs> it's the awkward moment when something you made. I don't know what three years ago is better. Is better than what you can do now. It's probably longer than three years, actually. But how many years that is, this is? That is quite cool, though. But again, the redstone is so large. All this delay with repeaters. Could it just use a, a pulse extender or a hopper system? So bad. I remember building this as well. <laughs> Look how ugly this is. Interestingly, up here, this was me trying to copy Mumbo's um, mob grinder and not realizing that the mob rates on Bedrock are woeful. <laughs> so that's why it's completely broken and I never finished it. Poor young Harry thinking Java Edition was the same as Bedrock. How naive I was. <laughs> oh, here is something I was proud of. This is a mini little firing turret. Yeah, because I didn't know how to do clocks properly. I didn't obviously know about the observer clock. You know, the two observers looking at each other. But I did clocks like this. This was quite cool. Watch this. Hopefully it works. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. But again, you could make this so much smaller now. In fact, I might actually just show you how small you can make it now in the video with the power of editing. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't made it yet. And again, why did I use this color? It's a horrible color. <laughs> yeah, I think this was meant to be a full castle. I literally just, <laughs> just started a turret and this is that's about as far as I got. <laughs> I just literally had no stamina for things like this. <laughs> now, I bet this doesn't work. No way. <gasps> oh, okay, here's a funny game. Have a guess what this is. You would never get it. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? This was meant to be an anvil swapper. And it actually worked. It damaged the anvil every time Yet you used it, but it worked. And it won't work now because the anvil was broken, but basically you went, what? Oh, <laughs> the wrong place. It went down like that, it landed on there, then went down and landed on here, I think. Like I said, it won't work because of, yeah, that. What if we work with mobs? Now this is the type of build that I used to love to build. It's completely useless. And what it is, it's a player launcher. It just flings you around. I, again, I doubt if this works now. I think this is a clock here. This is it. You stood here and you get bounced around. <gasps> oh, yes. It works! Almost. <laughs> and here's a lion. I think I copied this off somebody else. I'm pretty sure I did. It's quite cool though. I do like it. How many pulse extenders does one man need? One? <laughs> two? <laughs> oh, only two. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping for more. So if I remember rightly, again, this is just a hidden staircase? Yeah. Huh. 
Even then, I like the grey walls. I love grey walls now. Grey walls with the, the wood. It looks quite good, I think. Uh -huh. Nah, it doesn't. <laughs> but I did do a mirror. And everyone loves mirrors. Now, how does this work? Was it a dust key? Could I actually do... Oh, I've got dust already. Could I, even, could I do a dust key back then? I remember it being round here, though. Hey. Oh, there it is. That's not bad. Now, if I remember rightly, this is a hidden chest swapper. Again, I remember building this. Does it work, though? Oh, yes. Very nice. Press the button again. Does it disappear? Cool. Very simple, but I like it. But is the redstone simple? Oh, my word. No, it's not. <laughs> again, I could make this so much better now. In fact, I will. Again, I'll show you with the power of editing how small you can get it now compared to this. Oh my word, this is horrendous. <laughs> Anyone like the piano? <laughs> I think this was a mumbo build, but I kind of changed it to work for Bedrock. Mm, no, maybe I did copy it. <laughs> I love how all these boards are on the ground and then there's this one. <laughs> just, just floating up here. I mean, it looks fairly cool. Again, it's not compact, but it, it's all right. <laughs> this, this was my first little drop down swimming pool. <laughs> That's so underwhelming. It goes down one block. Of course, this was before honey blocks, so you couldn't use them. And that is it. And all that redstone just for that. I remember taking a few screenshots of this when I built it because I was so proud of myself. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Just much wow. <laughs> hey, this is a FedEx gaming build, you can tell, because I put the little blocks like he did. That's cool. This is another FedEx gaming build. It's a 2x2 two two seamless flush piston door, if I remember rightly. I don't think this one would work anymore. Oh, it does. I remember building this and having no idea how it worked. His builds helped me so much when I was learning Redstone. Like I said, I did not understand how this worked. But now I do, which is good. <laughs> me learning and gates. Oh, so this, we have a red coder. Oh. So this is a little shop, obviously. So you choose what you want. So for example, let's have a potato. A jacket potato, as we call it in the UK, or a baked potato, as you call it elsewhere. <laughs> Press the button. And eventually, do you get it? Does it work? Yeah? No? <laughs> yes! Yes, it does work. I mean, you only get one, which is really stingy. <laughs> when you could get a, um, an enchanted golden apple or a piece of bread in the same, in the same, in the same shop. That's not really a fair shop. But again, really simple, just a simple red coder. Uh, then the, um, the selector panel goes down here. Yeah, but I think that's what I found with a lot of these builds. A lot of them still work and a lot of them did work, but just the way they worked is nowhere near what I would do now. So for those of you who are learning Redstone, take this as a bit, not of motivation, don't take it as motivation. Don't, you don't want to be like me. <laughs> but take it as like confidence that you can go from this to a one wide in not very long. Just keep practicing and, and you'll get there, honestly. Wait. Hold on. If I change this one for an obsidian, just in case, does this actually work? <gasps> it does. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> it actually works. That is my, this is genuinely my first piston door. My first three by three and it works. You can't see my mouth right now, but it's like, <laughs> my mouth is agog. It's just open. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. That that's brilliant. That is so cool. 
I mean, it's really bad, <laughs> but I understand it. But I'm so glad I got it to work. That's that's great. I'm really chuffed. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out. It's been a really strange video. <laughs> This has just been me walking around these builds, just smiling to myself. <laughs> I hope you did still like it. I hope. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with our wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye.